Always going to be a mammoth task. When it came in here, it was a total rust bucket, but after many- Ed China is one of the most loved mechanics in car restoration. He was best known for hosting the show Wheeler Dealers along with Mike Brewer. For a while, this duo took the restoration community by storm. After 12 successful seasons, some unfortunate incidents led to Ed China leaving the show. What was the real reason why he left the show? What's the controversy surrounding Ed China and Mike Brewer? What is he currently doing? Stay till the end of this video to know all the updates about Ed China. Ed China's love for cars started from his childhood. He was a creative child and pursued a degree in engineering product design. Later, he started his company, Comfy Banana, to bring his innovative ideas. Although there were some troubles for the company early on, Ed managed to get through them. He even has a Guinness World Record for creating the world's fastest sofa. This unique creativity brought a lot of attention to Ed China. He started making appearances on television and radio shows. Later, he joined Mike Brewer to host the show Wheeler Dealers. Mike and Ed became close friends while working for the show, so much so that Ed was the godfather to Mike's child. Why did he leave the show when they were such good friends? In the show, Mike was usually the one buying cars and Ed was involved with working through the mechanical aspects of restoration. The show was broadcast in approximately 220 territories and its fan base increased daily. The show started with a small team. Through the years, they had a large group of around 45 staff members. Later, the show's production company changed. The original company, Attaboy, was replaced with Discovery Studios. Other changes followed the production change. Initially, the show featured detailed versions of the work done to the cars, but the new production company wanted to reduce these details. Ed China felt that these details were a necessary aspect of the show. Ed China did not want to compromise when showcasing his creativity. He then left the show to pursue projects that would give him unlimited creative freedom. But Mike Brewer had a different opinion. He believed Ed China needed help to cope with the show's workload. As the show became more popular, particular demands had to be met. But according to Mike, Ed was getting easily frustrated and was always in a foul mood. This difference of opinion caused some heat between Ed and Mike. Although there were rumors that Ed left the show because he was on bad terms with Mike, that was untrue. They publicly announced that they had no personal vendetta against each other. But professionally, they did have some differences in their opinions and nothing could have been done. After Ed left the show, Ant Anstead was appointed as the co-host. But he also left the show in 2020 to work on his per usual projects. Mark Elvis then replaced Ant Anstead. The show moved on even after Ed left, but the fans did not. The fans miss Ed's presence on the show. But Ed did not leave his fans hanging. After leaving the show, he continued to share his projects with his fans through his YouTube channel. In one of his videos, he acknowledged his departure from the front and urged the fans to be kind to Mike and his family. He even wrote a book called Grease Junkie that included many aspects of life, including the Wheeler Dealers show. Currently, he's working on projects like the BMW E24, a 1967 Volkswagen, an Audi TTA, and many more. He even worked on his 100th car, the vintage Darak. Which one of his recent projects did you find to be most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss any update from us. See you in the next one.